Now to politics, where chairman of the Lagos State Parks and Garages Management, uh, Musilio Akinsoya, on Sunday led thousands of supporters of the ruling All Progressives Congress to embark on a solidarity walk in support of APC presidential candidate Bola Tinubu and his running mate, Senator Kashim Shatima. The rally tagged five million man walk was also in support of the re election of Lagos State Governor Babajidi Songwolu. Correspondent Ademola Lawrence has details. The APC supporters across the metropolis defiled the early downpour that converged on the Teslim Balogun Stadium in Suuliri as early as 7 a.m. The massive crowd in the Kalimba Light Gathering walked from the stadium through Ikorodu Road and converged on Boladi Ushodi. Various groups came with their banners and t-shirts to show their support to Ashwa Dutinumbu, Senator Shetima, and Governor Songolu. Nani Wu stars, musicians, others came in different colors of Zigna, bearing Tinumbu and Songolu. The supporters described the gathering as a mini show of support of strength for Ashwa Jubala and Tinumbu. They added that it is imperative to demonstrate the massive support for the presidential aspiration of Ashwadu Tinubu and that the former Lagos governor who laid the foundation for the progressive development of the state is capable of replicating such at the federal level. By next year, it will be 30 years when the sort of opportunity for a young man person who is a progressive to the core will be flying the flag of our party to contest for the presidential candidates under our party. I want to urge all of you, I want to beg all of you, let us use our vote to banish poverty. Let us use our vote to, to, to remove that insecurity in our land. For many years, Mr. Tinumbu is well prepared to change the narrative of the challenges facing the nation if elected in 2023. Adimola Lawrence, TVC News, Lagos. Indeed, a carnival like, uh, you know, mass rally there, five million man march led by MC Uluomo. And uh, we saw the different, you know, persons. And some have said that there was no social me media mobilization, that this was grassroots mobilization to ensure that we see this number of persons come all out. How many of these people tweet? How many of these people are on Facebook or Instagram? So sometimes when uh, people think that uh, you win election on the on the pages of uh, Twitter on the on the on the flashes of uh, Facebook, uh, they should learn lesson that there is no such thing as as Facebook victory. There is no such thing as Facebook poll or Instagram or Twitter poll. That the poll is on the ground, and that's what you see here. Let us understand that the election is about the people and it's not about the uh, flim flam of, uh, of uh, internet and, uh, and so on. Mm. So, so, so there, there, there's this writer called uh, Elias Canetti, who, is, uh, who I quoted last week, who wrote uh, the, the best book ever written on crowds, entitled Crowds and Power, mm. in which he, he, he said that you have what you call the closed crowd and you have the open crowd. Mm. Eh? What you see here is the open crowd, not the one, not the closed crowd that we have seen in, in, the, in, in some of the rallies in the, in, in, the, in the past few weeks. But this is an open crowd in which the city itself opened itself mm. to embrace an idea or a candidate. And that is what you see. Taking over the whole town, taking over the whole city, that is the nature of mobilization.
Absolutely. <clears throat> they were able to get to the roots, not just the grass, like we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the shame we are seeing. No, I like that. I like that. I like that. He's bringing back some. I told him we'll pay a visit to his library. Yes, 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 yes. They got to the root, not the grass. Exactly. No, it, it's really interesting because a, a, a lot of the people who you see here are not the. Twitter savvy guys who are out there. They are, these are people who are really on ground, you know. And for them to all mobilize themselves this much, it tells you that there's a great network at that grassroots. Absolutely. And if you're talking about political mobilization, it is actually that grassroots that matters. Yes. If those persons come out, then whoever that they stand behind will always have the day. However, the point there is that we are seeing how interesting the political terrain is becoming. Yes, yes. Because at the end of the day, we will sit down and we will, we will be happier that there is some level of involvement from people who originally wouldn't have been part of the system. You know, uh, go do your thing. And then they stay on their own. Mm -hmm. But we see how people are coming up. We see how people are coming up. So finally, on the day of election, then we'll get to know that crowd what does it translate into? Absolutely. It is on the day of election. Absolutely, because so. we've been seeing, you know, the turnout of persons mm -hmm. for different candidates uh, over the past few days. And some have come out to say that do not underestimate any person mm. with regards to these elections mm -hmm. by, by whatever standards. Do not underestimate mm. any persons. But like you rightly mentioned, what matters most is on the day of exactly. elections. Mm. These massive persons that have followed you to as, come as for they, coming as out they, to vote. Of course, as they keep that tempo on, mm. because this is just one out of those. Recall that uh, last week there was the all-women rally. Yes. And it was really massive. Mm -hmm. So the point there is that you're going to see elders, yeah, you're going to see even, even professionals will start coming out in their own colors. At the end of the day... The final mega, the one they call the mother of all rallies, mm. is always towards yes. the election. Yes. Yes. That yes. one, the entire city or the entire country or the entire region can shut, shut down. down. Yes. It is not those who vote for the rally, mm. but those who rally to the vote. <laughs> <laughs> Another one. Oh, God. See, we'll just buy matras and buy, we'll go and live in his library. I'm telling you. <laughs> really interesting. Yeah. Uh, Indeed, it is those who rally for the votes. And yes. that's, that is what we're seeing. This is the turnout of a majority of persons here are youth yeah. yes. from what is being said. Yes. And we'll continue to see the build up towards so, the so, so those people who write uh, columns and who make arguments that, uh, that uh, the, the youth are actually moving for a certain candidate should, should not rethink their definition of youth. <laughs> or even maybe they need to map the locations of those youths. And so we understand whose youths are we talking about. Right. Yeah, is it a geographic youth? Is it an ethnic youth? Or are they Nigerian youths? Mm. <laughs> we need to know. Exactly. And that's why I say it is not those who vote for the rallies, mm. but who rally to the <laughs> vote. <laughs> Obviously, uh, campaigns have begun in earnest, and we are going to see more of uh, no, pictures of course, like this mm, uh, for rallies course, we'll and all of that. But mm. Arnek has come out to say issue based campaigns is what the focus should be as it is. We shouldn't have issues where uh, persons attack one, uh, one another and all of it, but people begin to hold persons to account. Mm. If you say this is what you want to do, how do you intend to achieve this? These are the questions we, sh mm. we should begin to see, whether on social media, whatever the platform might be, begin to raise questions. Mm. How do you intend to do uh, this? Uh, if you have pedigree, show us what your pedigree yeah. has been. They, they, that, that's the ideal and that should be the gospel message. But however, there are still mischief makers because at every election, there are contractors, there are people who benefit from twisting the system and all of that. It happens in the United States. It happens in London. It happens in, the Euro in Europe. It happens everywhere in everywhere. the world. Absolutely. However, the difference will be people becoming more conscious mm -hmm. as to if you see anything, like some persons will put uh, a picture uh, and say, okay, uh, this one said, that this one, this one is a good, as the case may be. The mm. point there is that everybody, you can, these things are very 
uh, evident out there. Mm -hmm. Make verifications, ask mm -hmm. questions. Yes. So you don't, you don't just follow everything and, or forward everything or, or, or publish everything mm -hmm. as the case may be. Mm -hmm. Media literacy is very, very important. And anyone who calls himself a journalist or calls himself a social media person have the uh, incumbency or the duty or the rep responsibility to make verifications, to make to ensure you do backgrounds because you go, you're going to see a lot of uh, photoshopping of yeah, so many of things, course, so many course. pictures, so of many course. videos, you know, doctoring a lot of those things just to create a point. There was one on, uh, on social media when uh, uh, Ashwaji Tunibu was coming back from, from London and they, they showed him looking at this, looking outside and it, it looked like he was facing a screen just by his side. You know, so there was a yes, doctoring yes, yes. I, that I he was that. watching another presidential candidate. Yes. You know, so they were they were they, they made it look like oh he was trying to monitor what his yes. rival yes. rival yes. candidate was doing. But when the real picture came out, there was it was a blank. Uh, it was actually a blank, blank screen. Monitor. Yeah. A blank monitor. Yeah. So the point there is that we're going to see a lot of those doctorings and so on. But let people not be carried away by those. Mm -hmm. Just focus on what you think your candidate can do, mm. why you think your candidate is better than, than all the other others. candidates, mm. based on this, based on this, based on this. When you do that, that is what campaign is all about. Mm. And that is how you can mobilize people. That's how you can create that, that, that uh, uh, feeling, that motivation, mm. of that spark. That's, that's when you can create, that, create that's, it. That's why, that's why we need to, to salvage reality from social media. Mm. Because social media has become is self-toxic in, in, in this society. Mm. And why it has its good side, it has a very dangerous side. Uh, this new book that I referred to in my column today called The Age of AI by the 99-year-old uh, former Secretary of State of the United States, um, uh, Henry Kissinger. I wrote mm. it with uh, Eric Schmidt, the, um, the co-founder of Google. And we were also talking about the danger ahead, the danger ahead uh, with um, artificial intelligence mm. and uh, and the internet is one of the one of the greater greater omens of uh, of the civilization because of the capacity to distort reality and create parallel mm. parallel realities yes. Yes. and each reality looks good on its own. Mm -hmm. It just we are going into an age where philosophers were were very gung ho about analyzing realities as alternatives. One person will say the reality is about God, the reality is about matter, the other reality is about perception, the other reality is about materialism, mm -hmm. and so on. So we are getting to an age where we have radical realities. Everybody creates his own reality and mm -hmm. inhabits it. Yeah. It's dangerous. Yeah. Exactly. When we are yes. living in the same material exactly. world and everybody exactly. belongs belong mm -hmm. to different planets. Mm -hmm. Planets of thoughts, planets of emotions, planet, pla planets of, uh, of religion, Planets of thinking, mm. planets of faith, planets of joy, planets of anger, planets of hate. Right. All of these things become, we are all living together, we are living in different worlds. Exactly. And then, Absolutely. But we still have to interact. That's the thing. Of course. Of course. Yes. That's yes. very true. <laughs>